In this code clip, we are going to learn how to create a data frame in R. Now, when you're working with data in R, you'll often be loading it in and it will be stored as a data frame by default. But if you want to make a data frame from information you're specifying yourself, then you have to make one from scratch. So that's what we're going to learn how to do here. So we'll start by specifying some data in columns that we want to use to make our data frame. That's what we're doing here. So we'll run that to save those. And then to make a data frame from those columns, we just use the data.frame function. And then we pass in each column sequentially, separated by commas, into the function. So the students, homework, midterm, finals. And if you want to specify a specific column name instead of just using the variable name, you say the name of the column equals the data. So in this case, we're calling this column grade because the variable name G just isn't that nice. So if we run this, it will create the data frame. There we go. Now, creating data frames has a little bit of a quirk because character strings, columns with character strings are encoded as factors by default in R. Um, factors are a special data type meant for dealing with categorical data, but sometimes you might not want your character strings, like the students column, for instance, to be turned into factors. So you can suppress that behavior just by passing in this extra argument, strings as factors equals false when you make the data frame. So if we remake the data frame using this, these factor columns will now be stored as normal character strings. So that is how you create a data frame from scratch. All the code used in this video is available in the description below. If you found this video useful, drop a like. And if you're interested in more data science content, hit subscribe.